it will be a feature preview of what iNav Configurator 8 will give you in terms of tuning your quads and airplanes. I took the liberty of almost completely changing how the previously known as PID tuning tab in the iNav Configurator looks like. It's gone. It's simplified, now it's only tuning. And now it only presents you with the options you are really supposed to change. So first of all, you have the main PID gains. Those are the gains used by the stabilization itself, like the acro performance. Uh, by default enabled with the easy tune, because easy tune is awesome. You should be using easy tune for tuning, much simpler than anything else. But of course, if you disable the easy tune you have access to the traditional tuning but the easy tune is not tuning only the pids it's also tuning filters and a few other features so always use the easy tune it's just amazing so you can change basically everything you have the preview of the expo and and, and, and stuff like that then there's the section with additional pid gains those are the gains used by the angle mode horizon mode and the gps related functions so if you want to change of how position hold is working this is what you you have to familiarize yourself there is no stepping outside of this this box then on the race and expo we present you one more time only the settings that are relevant to you with a nice big easy to use sliders you want to heading hold rate faster slower there's just one setting inclination rates and the rate dynamics i now has rate dynamics not many people know that they do. Filters, if you have easy tune enabled, is only the option if to enable the RPM filtering. But you don't need RPM filtering with INAV, that's a completely different story. Instead of having all the settings for the gyro filters and the D-term filters and the filters filters, you just, everything is handled by the easy tune. Of course, if you disable the easy tune, you still have some other options, but if you use the easy tune, it's not relevant. Easy tune takes care of that. And then one more time, mechanics tab greatly simplified, basically with the easy tune only with the trust bit uh, attenuation. Or if you disable the easy tune, you have some extra options that you can use. And to follow on that, also the receiver tab will be simplified. Receiver tab will be no longer used to set up rates and expo. Because to think about it, rate and expo are not really about the receiver. They are about the stabilization, so inside of the tuning tab. And now the uh, receiver tab will be used only and only to select correct serial protocol and to configure the RC smoothing for the smoother experience. Nothing else. And that's one of the reasons I'm telling that iNav is most probably a simpler to set up software than the Betaflight. We are just getting rid of the settings that you are not supposed to touch.